I would like to give you some recommendations today on how to take uh, hay samples. Hay samples and either on round bales and later on I'm going to show you something on, on uh, square bales as well. Whenever we take samples from round bales, make sure you do not take them on this flat side, but you take them from the round side. And I'm going to show you later how that works. It's because when you look at that bale, you see whatever you rolled up here comes from an entire row or even more rows in the field. And to get a representative sample, you want to sample right through all those flakes and all that entire row you assembled or you uh, bailed up in the field. So always take from this side, inside the bale, as far into it as you can in opposite and then just drilling in here and taking a sample. So the reason why you want to take hay samples is you want to know or need to know what the nutritive value of your hay bales is. During the winter time, when you cannot feed fresh forage or cattle cannot graze out in the pasture, out in the open, uh, you feed hay, and, but nevertheless, you have to balance the ration. And that's why you have to figure out what's in the hay bales. So the way you go about taking samples from all your bales you obtain in the field is the following. You may end up with 30, 20, 30 bales or so from a single field. And the idea is to get a representative sample of that entire lot you got from that field. And it can be that lot can be something, either a forage or it can be a field or a certain time of the year you sampled. And the idea is to get a representative sample. In our example, we may have 20, 30 bales sitting here in the barn right now. And you want to take samples from at least five bales randomly or wherever you get access to of course or you have to move them out a little bit to get the representative sample and sample each of i mean of those selected bales and composite them into a single bag and ship it to the laboratory there are different kinds of samplers on the market but we work with a penn state sampler it has a serrated tip that means it has a very uh, sharp tip which penetrates easily the hay bales and that is attached to a cordless drill with which obviously you can work out in the open or in the barn where you do not have a power outlet. That sampler comes with a plunger here and sometimes when you take samples from bales that are very dense, use that plunger and just push it out from this side and push it all the way out into the back. So when you take a sample from a round bale, I would suggest that you go to the lower half of the round bale. So whenever you drill a hole into it, I mean there's a hole remaining then and if it rains, if you have your bales outside, it doesn't, the water doesn't flow in right into that hole. Once you take that core out of the bale, you want to open it up, that sampler, and put that sampled hay into a bag like this and uh, you can put away the drill and use the plunger from the other side to move all that hay into that bag. Regarding the amount of sample you send in, you want to send in about 0.5 to 1 pound of forage I would suggest. Obviously that is not enough forage in here in this bag but we just sampled one hay bale now. So you, I would suggest you sample maybe two to three times per bale, make three holes in it, and then you move on to another bale and do the same. And after you got your three to five or how many bales you need for a representative sample, you put it in one bag and send it in. And 0.5 to one pound is enough to send to the laboratory. One important thing to remember is, of course, to label that bag, you know, from which lot or which uh, set of hay bales you got your sample collected. And I just label that bale one or something like that. And that make sure that's on that bag whenever you send it to the laboratory that they know how to identify your samples. When you take samples from a square bale, you should take it from this side. Because whenever you bale your square samples, obviously you, you have those flakes that are pushed through by your baler. And that is representative of the forage in the windrow when you collect that hay. And never drill it right in here into this surface, because obviously then you just get a, a single piece of that flake 
but this way you get the assemble across that entire square bale over entire length of your wind row you assembled in the field. Again, make sure you label the bag before sending it to the laboratory. Now the question is where to send it to. There are obviously many commercial laboratories around the country that are going to uh, analyze your hay samples or forage samples. You can ship it to any kind of lab of your preference. Here in Arkansas at the university we have a lab at the, uh, in Fayetteville at the Altamer lab that analyzes soil and also forage samples. You are welcome to send it there as well to get your analysis done.